Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I am going to play Judas today, and it's going to be wonderful. That's all I've decided. It's, uh, it's going to go pretty well, because he has so much damage. Sadly, he has so little health that I can't go to the curse room. 35% extra damage, by the way. Book of Belial is a good item that will uh, increase our Devil Room chance, but it will not increase our library chance, nor will it if we drop it and pick it back up because we didn't pick it up for the first time within or after one second of the uh, start of the game. So Brother Bobby is not a familiar that I like. I'm going to skip it, and I'm really sad that I don't have a bomb right now because I really, really want that Tinted Rock. That is kind of important because you need to stack up on health as soon as possible, and of course we're fighting Famine. Of course we are. Literally, of course we are. This is very likely to be reset worthy. But if we get a soul heart from him, I'll I'll give it a go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hold the R key to quickly restart. Okay, didn't blow up. I always shoot TNT right away and I'm like, oh god, and then every so often it does blow up when I need it not to. So I uh, I take damage but of course that one wouldn't have actually impacted me when it blew up if it blew up because I'm further away than like it could have hit so that wasn't actually a concern it was just a matter of oh where do I have to go for all this money that I need to pick up all right all a matter of getting them into an order where you can actually kill them easily and that's SMB Superfan. That is wonderful. That is a speed down, but otherwise all stats up. No all stats up include shot speed ups. It does make our tiers red, but that is only an aesthetic. It's not actually indicative of us having over 5.5 damage. So you know. But that's a really wonderful item to get right away. As is any all stats up item, of course. And a health up. This is how I want a Judas run to start. Just anything to get us health. We need health, and we need it fast. So after the first floor, we have Isaac level health, but the best damaged in the game. I like it. Of course I'm going to finish exploring the floor, because there could be great vast riches ahead of us, basically. <sighs> I'm See, this is just so much better. Even without SMB Superfan, I would have preferred this floor to the other one, just because it didn't suck. Now I have two bombs and two chances at the secret room. Dang it. <laughs> I wish I had gotten it first try. Three cents isn't even really worth that cost that I just paid, so I'm going to really hope for another bomb on the next floor. Unless there are no tinted rocks, then I guess it doesn't matter, but I really, really like some tinted rocks and bombs. Oops, I missed because I was looking away. Okay, immediate item room is good. Shoop de whoop is not. You don't fight Envy often enough that... I mean, it still wasn't really worth picking up. I could have gotten it again later as a reroll thing if I happened to get the D6. Which I obviously shouldn't on this floor. It's not impossible, but it's pretty unlikely. So, I... Uh, I shouldn't have touched that, probably. I'll blame the fact that I woke up 30 minutes ago or something. I woke up an hour ago. How about th That's my excuse. What's yours? Okay, another key is wonderful. Boss is Duke of Flies. Duke of Flies is going to suffer a miserable, miserable death. Because I'm going to melt him. So I should definitely get my Devil Room here. And it will be a Devil Room, as this is the first run since opening the game. And that's a health up. This is going really well, so let's see if I decide that I need to trade away all of my health immediately. Hey, I don't! Cool. All right, let's get out of here then. Okay. Now I just need to find something going on on the rest of the floor. Hopefully a bomb and a couple tinted rocks. Or, you know, a couple bombs and a couple tinted rocks. At least as many bombs as tinted rocks. And uh, then be ready to go to the next floor. I mean, I, I'm only really exploring right now because there's no reason not to. There are a lot, I mean, like, there are a lot of potential benefits I could gain from this. 
but it's not huge. I just uh, would rather, for sure, do the exploring. See, that's enough to take me to the shop now, which could be pretty valuable. It also might not be, I don't know. Wow, that was quite a jump. I'm glad you did that before I did anything else. Uh, that was crazy. Alright. Actually, let me... I forgot to do a thing that I was going to do, which is turn off Skype, because that's terrible. And, okay, I'll buy the battery for seven cents, and I'll buy both this and the stuff. Yeah, why not? Battery gives us one tick of charge for our spacebar item about every 10 or 15 seconds, and also um, can only give us up to three charges unless we use the item, and then it can give us up to six. But it can't give us six in a row, so it's not like, oh, you can get a um, full charge just from standing there without doing anything else. No, you can't do that. But you can if you can leave the room and then re-enter. Namely by having x-ray vision, for example. Or like a million billion bombs. But it's it's not, you know, as amazing as some people give it credit for being. Uh, if I had to guess on the secret room's location, I would put it here. Darn. It's probably under the um, arcade then. By probably, I mean definitely. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. See what's gonna go on on this Catacombs 1. Of course it's not caves. This means we have a few less fun possibilities of enemies, namely keepers. And uh, that's, that's mostly what I hate. Oh look, it's keepers. Definitely worth Book of Belial here. If I can take no damage in this room, that would be pretty much the best. Can you stop moving? Oh my god. Okay, that's two. Okay, let's dodge that fully. And then get away from this one. Wonderful! We actually didn't take damage. And that took not very long compared to getting charges from the battery, so I'm not even pleased. Oh, but So there goes most of my chance for a devil room. Uh, I can get 61% with only the things I have at the moment, which is just not taking red heart damage against the boss and having the Book of Belial. So 61%, and then, of course, that's multiplied by 0.5, so 30.5% is questionable. It's not very likely. But here's the boss, and uh, honestly, I guess I should go explore more of the floor before fighting the boss, but I don't really care. The chance of me finding a beggar that I'd actually be willing to blow up, pretty low. Soul Heart is wonderful. Secret Room is three cents. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight the boss. But since I have taken floor red heart damage, it actually wouldn't matter and I could build up some advantage or something. Flight at home, pretty easy. I learned my lesson another time though, and I'm not gonna try to blow up that tinted rock with the Flight at home chasing me. Dang it, I knew that would happen, it always does. Squeezy is tears up and two soul hearts, so that is awesome. And small rock, please? No, just another soul heart. Tears ups are good, and so are soul hearts. So I like everything about that boss room, basically. Of course, I would love another another tinted rock, but another uh, chance at a small rock. I would love a small rock, not just a chance. And then I'd need a speed up, because I'd have two speed downs that are... You know, relatively important to uh, rectify, as I believe Judas spawns with Isaac's face speed. What? <laughs> Who invited you out here? Okay, so there's our charge, and there was some dumb damage that I shouldn't be taking. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the curse room. Two pills. Alright, be good. Pretty fly is wonderful. Telepills. Um, that's... that was the magician. I'm not even mad. I'm not going to go back for the magician. Definitely not. So now let's just go find the item room and then we're pretty done with the floor. I guess I hope that it's lucky foot. So pretty fly is an orbital fly that'll block tears and damage flies. Only flies, not other enemies. So I like it. I need to turn up the heat. It is cold. But I will obviously do that before the next video, but after this one. So, best friend, pretty bad. 
minutes, okay? Gluttony, want to give me a health up? Because if you do, I'd kind of like that. I mean, I also wouldn't, but I'd, I'd take it. He didn't anyway. What's with all the soul hearts? I didn't do anything to earn extra soul hearts. I'm not going to complain about it. It's just weirdly awesome. Oh well. Let us go to the next floor then. There is a stark lack of end rooms on this side, and by that I mean there was one end room that wasn't a thing. So you can do this with one bomb, as uh, was recently pointed out on the subreddit, and I think this might even be the spacing, but I am not uh, gonna go for that because I don't want to use my last bomb and my last key. <laughs> if I had a bunch of both, I'd give it a go. <clears throat> so, Curse of Darkness, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, right. Champion wouldn't die. Uh, Curse Darkness means that I have to explore a lot more blindly, <laughs> obviously. Which is no fun. I, I don't like Curse of Darkness. That's maybe a shop, but it also might be a library. Then again, remember, it's uh, not very likely to be a library. It's about 1 in 20. By about, I mean... It's 1 in 20 for the library itself, but there has to be the end room, and it has to fail all of the checks that come before the library, as I do believe that... Actually, the library might be the first check. I'm not sure. I can't remember the order. But I know that the library is at least somewhat early, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. All I know is it's 1 in 20 when it does get checked, which means it has to fail all of the ones before it, if there are any before it at all. So Chubb should be pretty simple can definitely handle this fight just fine, as I am showing right there. We get a shot speed up as, as our health up, and we get a devil room instead of an angel room with... I don't really want to do that at all. Like, can you stop sucking, basically? I'm going to skip that as well. I'm also going to skip the stem cells, because shot speed is really bad. And then I'm going to go find the item room, I guess. This shop is the first floor where we could fight greed. So I, uh, gonna, I'm going to keep that in mind. I would like more pretty fly pills. That would be wonderful. By the way, when I sometimes shoot two tiers in the process of doing this little loop thing for angling shots, that is because I'm still getting used to my keyboard. Red switches are different in that they uh, count you as pressing very early on. So that's just me not letting up pressure fully enough for it to stop thinking that I'm pressing it. So that's all there is to that. But I'm getting used to it pretty quickly, honestly. I like it a lot. But that's just sometimes I shoot two tiers when I only mean to shoot one. Mostly my problem typing on this keyboard is pretty much only that I don't let go of shift quickly enough, so it puts two caps instead of one, because that light pressure still counts as enough pressure. It's about all there is in my life issues with this keyboard. So I like it. Red switches are very wonderful. Okay. Oh cool, a troll bomb, thanks. Tinted rock with two bombs, alright. This should be a pretty easy room. Item room is just hiding real far away. I would like some more damage up sometime kinda soon. I guess we'll see what's in this item room, and maybe in this curse room as well. And by maybe, I do mean definitely. I'm going to the curse room. I've got the health. Another soul heart. This is kind of insane. Yeah, I'll take quad shot. That's been showing up so much recently. But it's plenty good. Quarter. No. Don't want the quarter. Just in case we get a D6. It's worth it. So there was only one locked door, which means it was a li or not a library, it was a shop. And I have 15 cents now, so I will go. At the very least. And uh, I'll probably take stem cells now that I have quad shot, even though quad shot plus shot speed is really bad. I think that it's honestly better than the insane fire rate that I was going to have. 
I don't know. It's it's a risk. I'll take the risk. It's probably the wrong decision, but I can work with that. It's not like I can't play with high shot speed and high speed. It's just that it's worse, so I don't. And by it's worse, I do mean, at the very least, that it is worse for me. But I can do it right. I just know what I find better. Small rock, no. So, uh, by the way, this has been a question that's appeared a couple times. Recently, the only shot speed down in the game is Sacred Heart. So, you're not going to lower your shot speed once you've brought it up, basically. And that's all there is to that. And of course, Sacred Heart is very uncommon. Note that we still do have the possibility of getting Angel Rooms this run, since I haven't traded my health to the devil for anything. Which isn't due to lack of want. I definitely would have had they been decent deals. Alright. Can you? There we go. So Greed is probably definitely in this shop, but he could be in the secret room. Or there could be another mini boss on the floor, who knows. Freaking Dr. Fetus is appearing non-stop and I don't understand it, nor do I want it. I definitely hate that item. It's not fun to play with. I did it once recently. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called Circumstance, actually. I don't know what number it was. But I'm not doing it. I don't enjoy it. Uh, yeah, let's buy the pill. It could change, but it didn't change to Pretty Fly. And it changed to a speed down, so that's actually kind of catastrophic. I must say, this is really bad. I need to speed up now <laughs> really, really badly. But at least I'm powerful. So now I'm a tank. In not not a glass cannon for once. As Judas, I'm not a glass cannon, but a tank. I mean, both of which are sensible progressions of the Judas stat sets. Since, um... He has lots of damage, so he makes a good tank, if, well, depending on how you want to consider a tank. Because I know the people that play, like, MMOs and stuff have tanks that are just going to sink damage and not deal as much damage. But, you know, when you think about it, tanks in, like, an actual kind of war setting are going to do a ton of damage, but they're also going to be really strong and, like, sturdy and stuff. So, I don't know. Scapular. So we've got an angel room on this floor. That's good news. Scapular gives us a soul heart if we get down to half of a red heart. Once per room maximum. So that's pretty nice. Okay. Don't have as many soul hearts as I'd like to. But I've still been only on soul hearts for most of the game, so that's good. Okay. Nope. Oh, I'm so slow. Also, tanks are kind of fast in, like, a real-life setting. Real tanks are moderately fast. Not super fast, but, you know, they're not terrible. Oh, well. You know, what can you do? Eh but I really would like a speed up. If there's growth hormones or roid rage, if there were roid rage in there, of course I would take growth hormones. I always take growth hormones. But if roid rage were in there, I would have taken it. Okay, can I get out in time? No, I didn't. Now that's not going to blow anything up. Okay. I'm just not even going to go for it. <laughs> oh, look, of course. Screw you. Wow, you suck. Try you. Okay, you're better. You are better. Okay. Don't do that. Yes. That was beautiful. Alright, boss. What do you got? Gish. So little Gish is going to be our item. And that's not bad at all. That's pretty good. It's going to slow enemies, so it's going to make my slow speed not terrible. Certainly not the end of the world. 
All right. Oh, I knew it. I was too slow that time, and I was caught in goo of death and slowness. Still, Angel Room, please. Yes. If I can get Sacred Heart right now, I will be the very happiest man. I didn't think so, but the miter is good. Not blowing up rocks today. Eh, you know. Secret Room has no real importance to me. It could, but I didn't want to. Alright then. Let's... We got the depth too. I didn't want to use that, you jerk. I didn't... That wasn't my fault. That was the game. <laughs> Literally, there was no way I could be blamed for that. Besides the fact that I went into the room at all. Oh, you should have known that this randomly generated room would be this one room and not gone there. You're right, I should have known. Also, the secret room had to have been greed on the last floor, so never mind. It couldn't have been valuable to me. I just didn't think of that yet. Because there wasn't another mini-boss, unless I'm just misremembering. But there wasn't another mini-boss, which means that Greed had to be in the secret room to not be in the shop. So there you go. Nope. That's all there is to it. So the Miter is an extra 50% chance, which additively becomes um, 45%. Yeah, you get 45%, so now you have a total 55% chance that any non-specific heart drop is instead a soul heart drop. And that's awesome. Can you stop changing directions? Alright, there we go. So having greater than a 50% chance that when a heart drop that could be anything drops, that you get a soul heart, that's, that's really good. So now I'm going to see if the secret room is right here next to this room, because that would be really, really helpful and amazing. I didn't expect it to be, but it, it was worthwhile, because if it were there, that would be really, really helpful. Since there's pretty much not a reasonable expectation that I'm going to be able to go to the boss challenge room this uh, floor. I mean, yes, there's totally likely an arcade, but it's just not... Um, I don't want to lose all that health, because I don't have a way to get it back. So it's not really going to be a thing. Not a thing at all. Okay. Found the item room, have a key. I would like another key so I can go to the shop, which isn't greed because the last shop, or the last secret room was greed. Unless I'm misremembering, which is totally possible, but I don't think I am. Little Steve, not a familiar that I like. Not taking it. Little Gish is more than enough. Okay, this is the secret room, likely, at this point. Seven cents. It's okay. I don't need it. But it's something. Of course, I don't want to go to the boss until I'm done with the floor, but I do want to just get through the floor. Oh, I kind of thought you'd die. Okay, let's stay away from you. I kind of want to save the bomb on the Tinted Rock, basically. Ow. Okay, I should kill you right now. <laughs> Ooh, this is the opportunity. Okay, good. Got three soul hearts for no bomb cost. That was all I wanted. Dang it, I hate when I do that to myself. <laughs> and yes, I said myself weirdly on purpose. <clears throat> so much money that I don't need. Of course I can go to the arcade if uh, I need keys or something. Alright. Don't do this to me, babies. Ah, oh, wonderful, a key. I'm going to go back later. May as well finish the floor at this point. Not like I have a D6 to worry about using optimally. This 55% chance is not activating often enough for me. Okay, one of these is speed down, which I'm going to skip, understandably, hopefully. 
And that's health up, that's wonderful. I'll keep the speed down in case I somehow get a, um... A PhD or lucky foot that can turn it into a speed up, which would really, really help me out. And yes, I know, I'm probably not gonna get to, uh... Use the Book of Belial against Mom now. Not the end of the world. At all. Now, let's see, that's a half heart. There's really not a lot of health laying around. Though at the same time, I do have the miter, and I do have a lot of money that I can gamble with. It's a gamble in and of itself to go into the boss challenge room by losing all of my health, just because it could very easily suck. But I kind of want to do it anyway. I don't know, we'll see what's in the shop. Oh, and that's only a half heart. I definitely shouldn't do this, so I'm probably not going to. Coin purse. Alright, let's do it. Pretty fly, please. Yes, okay, so now I have two flies. It's much better than one. Full health. Now we're talking. Now I will definitely go play all the way down if possible. And if not, hopefully I get a blood bag and not an IV bag because... I can uh, get a speed up from that, not from an IV bag. Although from an IV bag, of course. If it's earlier, an IV bag lets me get down to low enough health. So I guess it's it's a trade-off. I kind of really want the speed up right now. But we'll see how it goes. Excuse me. So each time we play this, there's a 1 in 15 chance that it does blows up into an item. But at least we got this, so I can play down as low as I need to. And it may as well be down to half of a red heart. Alright, there we go. That's all the playing I can do. Now I'll just take my money. And uh, go to the boss challenge room, see what's in there. Hoping for pentagram or a speed up. Health ups are okay too, it's just that I really need more from the damage and speed department than I do from any other department at all. Range. Well, may as well. And uh, another thing is that if I take long enough in this room, which isn't very long and I almost definitely will, I get another charge from my Book of Belial for the boss room. So that's good. I'm just going to use full health now. There's no reason I was stalling on it. Didn't matter. I knew that Peep wouldn't move there because I had him slowed. So that was fine. Slowed every time it's doing the big jump. So there you go. I definitely get a Book of Belial charge here. For the boss room. Which is delightful. I may as well take one of the speed down pills with me. Range up is not very valuable at the moment, but it could be later. Is there anything I can buy that could be a teleport? No, I didn't think so. I mean, I may as well buy the bomb. Certainly have the cash for it. All right. IV bag doesn't really offer me any value. Nothing... Okay, this could offer me a teleport, so... Play this for at least a little bit. Don't leave the house today. I wasn't planning on it, honestly. We will all die one day. You're not wrong. I don't want to look there. How can I look there without leaving the house? Maybe my windows don't have good angles. Maybe I don't have windows. No, I have windows. Alright, soul hearts are always acceptable. Yes, yeah, Steven does live. I'm not actually worshipping a sun god. Just so you know. Can you give me a tarot card already? I will not give up. Yeah, I just want a tarot card that teleports me somewhere. That would be really helpful. Ace of Spades, my first trinket. Pretty good, honestly. But it's not useful at this point. Alright, fine. Uh, it increases the drop rate of tarot cards and playing cards but I don't have rooms to fight at this point, so that that doesn't help me at all. Now, I think that there was a Telepills, and I could go play the slot machine for that, but I am not... I'm not... I'm not gonna. I'm too slow, and it's too far. 
It's just too hard. Alright then. Alright. I'm liking the way this is going. Could go for more, like, tears ups. Okay, I want to kill the foot. Alright, I'm waiting. I'm only killing the foot because I don't want the explosion to kill me, basically. Oh, I missed. There we go. Tears up! Uh, I mean, of course, I wasn't asking for lots of speed ups or damage ups, but... Tears up you can do. Make it work. Uh, okay, I don't have to go... I don't know. I, I go left because that's what I do. But I don't know where to go. I was hoping that one of the shops would have, like, a treasure map or a compass. But no. Of course not. That'd be too... too helpful. Game can't do that for me. Oh, what are these two pretty flies for? Looking pretty? Okay. Come on. Stop doing this lump. I hate lumps. Bomb for a bomb is an amazing trade in the womb because you can't tell tinted rocks from regular rocks, so the more you can blow up, the better. Cool. I mean, there wasn't one, but there could have been, so that could have been a very positive trade. World may never know. World may never know. Yes. Definitely into this idea. Give me something good. What do I want from you? I guess I want a health up. That would be pretty great. I mean, honestly, health ups are good. Let's see if there's anything in here that I want. Remember, I would even fight for Roid Rage right now, but there is no Roid Rage for which to fight. Okay, this is honestly a promising direction so far, simply due to the fact that there are a lot of rooms. Could be the boss. I would appreciate if it were. Wonderful. Everything went as planned there. I just shot when it looked like it would shoot at my orbitals. And that worked. Oh, excuse me. I don't need this money anymore, Isaac. I hope you realize at this point that I don't need money. And I'd appreciate if you would stop giving it to me. Unless you want to give me money equals power. If we can get a devil or angel room on this floor... I'd be in pretty great shape. Because I can definitely afford it. For once, this is uh, not the way Judas runs normally go for me. No cubes of meat this run, which is totally fine with me. Although I, of course, would have rather gotten a single one. As it's totally good to have. But at least I got two pretty flies before then. Okay, Cat of Nine Tails is a skip because it's just a shot speed up and that's terrible. We have to use a bomb to get to this devil room, which contains a pact. And that's about that. Damage up, tears up, and two soul hearts to make up for what we traded. I will finally blow up the rock just to see if it's a tinted rock. It wasn't. Uh, I don't like the nail, and it's a speed down when you have it active, so I'm not gonna not gonna be into that. Curse of the Lost increases the size of the floor by four rooms at uh, something like that. Get an immediate treasure map. I like you, beggar. I like you. I'm still not going to do it right. Okay, so this is probably the wrong way. If I had to take a guess, I would say that this is absolutely not the correct direction. However, I have been wrong in numerous such situations. And as such, we'll have to give it a go. Although I will say that I'm going to go downwards and not to the left because that's pretty unlikely to be the right way. But I'm thinking that none of them actually look very likely compared to the others. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm not sure where I'm going to end up going if this is the wrong way, which I expect it to be. I don't know. No, the poop! I needed to shoot that poop. Okay, so that's a cursed room that I would love to go to, but don't think is very justifiable. Of course it could be. Eh, screw it. What do I care at this point? Nope. Nope. 
I knew I wasn't fast enough, but at least I didn't have to take damage going out there because I was still invincible from the hit, so it's honestly the same. I definitely don't want the dead cat though, that's just no benefit to me to lose 4 health. Doesn't sound very enticing, if I had to be honest with you. Watch the boss room be at the far left that I just abandoned one room away. Uh, I really don't expect it to be, but the game is that cruel to me sometimes. Stop that, lumps. I hate lumps. They're so annoying. Oh my god, me? Why would you do that to me? Okay, I'm in pretty good shape as far as damage and tears are concerned now. Okay, I'm not going to take any chances with this one. Because I'm not in a great health situation anymore. No, oh, come on, you actually hit me there. Okay, let's uh, get them in the choke point, and then you suck, let me out. Jeez, this is knockback. This is knockback right there. Poison touch, the virus, good, excellent, wonderful. I need that really badly. <laughs> uh, no, that's definitely not worth it. When I only have two, four keys, that takes half of my keys, no thank you. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, God. When I come into contact with an enemy, not all enemies, because look, this enemy doesn't take contact damage from us. Uh, it takes a bunch of damage and then does, or gets poisoned for damage over time. I will do this one, even though it's probably not worth it. Remember, the more rocks you can blow up, the better. Of course it's Tammy's head. I feel like that always happens. Oh my gosh. It's cool. I'll get another key along the way, and if I don't, then I'll feel bad. Okay. I can handle this room. This room is very easy. Soul Heart, thank you. Miter hasn't been pulling its weight. Okay, this is the boss room. The world is safe. Chest contains a soul heart, that is wonderful. Chests are pretty likely to contain soul hearts. So, I mean, that is a chance I could be taking more, but I really want to save up for the chest if possible. Okay, this one I won't get the whole bomb thing going, I guess. So slow. Okay. Yeah, alright, good enough. Good enough. Yep. Okay, we're almost... Yeah, okay. Repeated bombs means this fight's pretty free now. I do enough damage that this isn't a very big worry at all. There's a soul heart. We're going to the cathedral. It's just going to be close. We do have a treasure map now. Thanks to a kind, kind beggar. If I had to guess on a direction, I'd say I don't have a clue. This is a very ambiguous layout. Super greed is not something I really want to mess with. I also can't bomb out of there. Hmm. I don't know where to go with this one. So of course I've just chosen direction basically at random. And I'm hoping for the best. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you. Yep, definitely gonna blow up for this. Have more bombs than keys, and need to save my keys more than I need to save my bombs. Note that if you did get multiple Book of Belial uses in one room, they would not stack. Just so you know. Don't want to fight for that, honestly. I would take it, but I don't want to fight for it. Okay, key, that's wonderful. Why did I even go into that room? I could see very clearly that it was the end of the path and was not the boss room. Oh well, look at me, not paying attention to anything, obviously. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. As rhyme as you can. I do have some extra range, I forgot about that. And shot speed, so that's a little more extra range, basically. Among some larger disadvantages. It's a curse room. I'd really like to, but no. You die. Bomb. Top left, hopefully. 
I don't know, though. I mean, of course I don't know. I really wish I had had the opportunity to get a compass. I really, really, really do. Don't know how my pretty flies blocked that tier, but I will not complain. <laughs> There's pretty much no way they should have, but I, I'll always take the silly blocks that shouldn't happen over not blocks. Okay, that's you. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. Can't afford that. So I kind of thought that the boss was over there, but I didn't want it to be. In a, I mean, I don't know why I didn't want it to be. It was probably longer or shorter than this path. But I kind of thought that that was also a bad location for it compared to top left. I didn't think that bottom right was likely, but I wanted it to be. Okay, that didn't hit me. Thank you. Yes, that red boom, boom fly just blew up as well as doing the tears thing. That's because as they spawn, they have the attributes of both. Only the alternate ones do. Boom flies will always just blow up because that's, that's the standard. But a red boom fly still counts as a boom fly in its first moments of life. And as such, blows up as well as shooting the tears. Because it still has its new attributes, it just doesn't have the lack of the old attributes. It's weird, it is how it is. It's just, uh, stuff. Dang it. Dang it! I lost two soul hearts for the one gain. That sucks. Oh well. Either we can win or we can't. We have two orbitals, so that's really helpful against Isaac. I mean, three would be more helpful. Oh, that was close. Ah. Man. Hierophon. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was what we needed to see. Okay, get on, get on it. Okay, now we just need to hope that these tiers keep miraculously not hitting us thanks to our orbitals. Okay. All right, this is going well so far. I can afford to do this forever, technically, since I haven't gotten hit yet. Phase three, though, really soon. There we go, now we're in business. Okay, somehow not getting hit yet. Okay, that's a hit. Eh, no, please. Oh, it teleported into me, I didn't notice. That explains a lot. Oh, I can't get hit so much. All right, we made it through. I think that was only like a net one loss or something. Kamikaze, great item, not what I'm gonna take. Speed ball, speed up and shot speed up, and I have to take it because I need speed, especially now that we're in the chest there. Some things that could very much screw me over. Sadly, it's a shot speed up. To think I would have to take speed ball one day. I was really hoping for a lucky foot or a PhD. That would have really, really helped out. Giving me the speed down pill as a speed up pill. I could have used that. But no. Definitely want to use the Book of Belial for the bloat. Okay, get out of here. Oh, dang. I was hoping... Well, it was fine anyway, but I was hoping very much that I could um, kill it before it jumped. That should not have hit me. Don't even lie to me. All right. See what's in the secret room. Dad's key. Oh, it's the top secret room over here. I can't believe that hit me. I didn't hold that long enough. Eternal Heart is actually good, even though it won't become an Eternal Heart for us. It won't become a health up, that is. It will give us half heart. Um, it'll give us a half heart, basically. So we have Polaroid invincibility if we get down to low health, which is really a lot more valuable than it may seem. Boss room, boss room, boss room. That's not the boss room, and this is a bad, bad room. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Oh, come on. Yes, I did just hit that movement perfectly. Okay, little gish, little gish, little gish. Little gish. Little gish, please. Okay, we still made it, but, like, little gish, come on. 
Uh, we already had tele... Oh my god! We already had telepills though, so I was... I knew that that wasn't? I'm pretty sure at least, unless I'm just crazy, which does happen relatively often. I don't feel very confident right now. By the way, that um, Magneto would definitely be detrimental. Okay, um... Oh no, I can't afford that. Kill Greed, please. Ah, Greed, you didn't move into it. Okay, I definitely want Gluttony dead last, because health up is probably the most valuable thing I could get right now. This one's gonna come down to it. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Come on, there we go. I don't know why I bounced off of that so strongly. We're also gonna get two hard drops from this, if not a health up. Yep. Hey, yep. This is, uh... Hopefully, this pretty much has to be the boss direction. It doesn't have to be, have to be, but it pretty much has to be. Because the boss is very, very rarely on such a short path as the one to the left of the spawn. I have had it one room away from the spawn before, in the chest. But it's so uncommon and so unlikely. Okay, this is good. We're building up some health. Okay, and there's our boss, and we don't have to fight this room. This is about the best we can do right now. I think we win. I do. But it's not a guarantee, and I still have to try. Oh, dang it. Don't do that to me. Okay, get into phase two. Um, I can get in there for one. Yeah, see? I'm barely fast enough to make it in during my invincibility. That's the sad part. That's the very sad part. Oh, but I'm just gonna place the bomb there. Oh no. Okay, this is phase three, so we actually have a shot. A very low one at the moment. Eh, actually I'd say it's pretty high. Blue baby's dead. Yeah, we're fine. Boom, I win. I can't believe I won that. That came down pretty close, especially because I had to do so many, so many rooms. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.